This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Sequoia. It is a 2005 Toyota Sequoia. It's a 4.7 liter V8. It's four wheel drive. It's an SR5 and it has a third seat. It has very low miles, 105,405 actual miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it is on a clear title. Uh, we bring them here, we do an inspection. My guys hand me this. Uh, low miles, runs and drives great. Uh, I'll show you the Carfax in a minute. It says total in the Carfax due to the theft payout. Uh, Carfax notes that it's non-collision. Uh, never had a salvage title, okay? It's basically, they say total loss when the victim was paid for their vehicle, uh, a total loss. Uh, driver taillight was replaced, it was cracked. Liftgate latch was cracked. Driver door handle was broken. And we repaired a bullet hole on the edge of the driver door near the handle. Yes, a bullet hole. So when we got it, uh, we reenacted the crime. Um, apparently, as he was driving away, the bullet hole was like, I think it was right about here. And it was an Audi. The metal was out. So the guy, as the guy was stealing the car, somebody was shooting at him. And one bullet went right through here and made an Audi. And uh, we decided to fix it because it deserved it. So it came out like right about here, I believe. Um, so we fixed it. Um, also... Uh, to keep the price down, we didn't fix everything be, that's wrong. There's a tire monitor light on. One or more of the batteries in these tire sensors is probably bad. They're about $35 a piece to replace them at discount tire. Um, it's smart to do all four, which would be $170. Uh, or you could just like use your eyes like we did for 110, my, 110 years and go, oh, that one's low and put some air in it. Um, also, the rear lift gate glass needs a new regulator. No one ever puts these things down. I've never understood why these things go up and down anyway. Uh, they're about 200 bucks and about three hours of labor. Um, we can do all that for you. The tire sensors and that if you want. It's going to be probably somewhere around 500 bucks. And I don't think you need either one of them. I think they're silly. Um, what else? Tom Hanks, rest in peace. Uh, I have some sick individuals here and apparently coronavirus isn't something that frightens them so much <laughs> but uh i think that they think that everyone who gets it is gonna die and tom hanks and rita wilson are in australia down under they're not passed on they're not dead uh and now i'm going to watch saving private ryan and the green mile because of what they just did maybe toy story also all right because of what they just did um anyway back to the vehicle uh, the uh, tires look like they're probably 50 to 60 percent tread um, if I see something cosmetically that's really out of line I'll point it out obviously it's a 15 year old vehicle it's not gonna be perfect but for a 15 year old vehicle this thing looks pretty good um, but I know that there's some touch up on the bumper cover I saw a scratch like on the quarter panel back here Let's see, where was that? It's a scratch right here. There's a little touch up like right here. And there's touch up right here on the edge. See that? All right. All right, let me open up the uh, lift gate. I will show you the uh, Carfax and the title that we've got from the insurance company. And I'll explain to you the whole, how this works. There's the uh, VIN. So Carfax blends the uh, Kelly Blue Book and the uh, Carfax together. And they come up with a value based on the Carfax in its value of $9,580, what they say this vehicle's worth, okay? The total loss is non-collision theft. I'll show you where they actually say that in the uh, Carfax. There's the VIN. Ba, ba, ba. So it was born in Arizona. Born in Arizona. There's a, yeah, there's a song about that. Ba, 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 ba. Got some nice services, 86,000. They service it pretty well. Didn't drive it very much, obviously. Let's see, 97,000 miles. There's a really nice service, like really late. There's a big service here. Uh, 104,585 miles, like 700 miles ago. They did a timing belt, huge. And then it was stolen. It says non-collision damage reported. Probably the bullet hole and the fact that it was stolen. What you don't see is the word salvage because it's not a salvage title and it never was. That's just a insurance term. It means you lost, they lost a lot of money. Um, 
not our problem. Here's the uh, Clear New Mexico title that was issued to us, or the issued to uh, them that they signed over to us. There's the VIN. It was Trumbull Insurance. Signed over to Wheel Kinetics with 105,405 miles. All right, so now you've seen that. Um, this is the third seat. We don't have this panel, by the way, um, right here. I don't know where that went. Probably somebody's garage, the past owner. Here's another headrest. Somehow the headrest, I'm not sure how that works. I forget how that works. Somehow that headrest comes to play uh, with, a, with one of these seats, but it is there. And I'm sure that's really expensive. All right, let me fire this guy up. So there's your tire monitor light. That's not gonna go off, okay? 105,410 miles. All right, let's open this hood. God, I gotta remember how to open the hood on these things. There it is. All right, first things first, you wanna see the VIN on the fenders. There's the VIN here, original fender. All the stickers where they go on the core support, so you know that nothing's been replaced due to collision or anything. So all that, there's your VIN there, okay? And there's the VIN on the hood. So all the front end parts are original, all right? There you go, not a whole lot going on there. Looks great. Let's see, there's your window, door locks, okay, power seat, that's the seat back, forward and back. On the passenger seat on Toyotas, they will not go up and down, they will just slide back and forth and the back will go back and forth, but they won't go up and down. The driver's seat will though, okay. little thing there we got the AC rolling and it's for freezing in here turn that down that's a really nice little people mover right here that I can tell you if you need to move kids practice all that kind of stuff this is where you would do it so you can do the AC back here right Up and down let's see Oh, you gotta turn that off. Auto. Boom. I guess it maybe just works from the outside, from the dash. Huh. Cup holders here. Make sure there's nothing, no surprises under the carpet. Thing we're missing this car that might be why he opened fire on his own car because <laughs> he knew that he was not going to see it again so he started shooting it <laughs> everything looks good there Put this forward god the interior of this thing looks beautiful looks like it's got 20,000 miles on the interior Um, let's see this switch is for the rear window like I said it does not work okay um, tilt wheel up and down that works fine all right let's hop oh wait I'll do the seat forward back whole seat forward whole seat back up and down let's go all the way down and then we'll go all the way up there you go All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's get a seatbelt on. It actually looks nice and warm out here, but it is chilly today. It's been raining for three or four days. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Mirrors. So, out, in, up, and down. Switch to the side. Out, in, down, up. Let's see. Here's your roof. And close.
Okay. Let's see. Light, light. Mirror. Mirror. What else we got? There's cruise control right there. I'm hitting right here, right? Cruise on and off. Let's see. Overdrive right here on off that's off and then back on right radio got a cassette player and a cd that works fine i can promise you the ac is working because man it is freaking freezing in here and i got it on the feet so let's see let's go to mode let's get it coming out the dash there we go. Yeah, that, that works fine. That's enough of that. <laughs> uh, that's chilly. All right, let's go put it in a neutral. Then we're going to go to four low. All right. So now see, we're going to four low right here. All right. All right, this is four low. All right, that's in drive and four low. Then we'll go reverse and four low. All right, now we'll go back to neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. Okay. Let's see where it says four high right here. All right. Drive. And reverse. Perfect. All right, now see that's four high. Now we're gonna put it in neutral and we're gonna go back to two wheel drive, all right? There you go. All right, now the lights are gone. It's in two wheel drive. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this rig home, you got a nice car and a lot of seats, so you bring a lot of people. Um, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you decide to pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, there'll be no dock fee, uh, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title um, with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We'll even uh, scan in the envelope we mail it in. Uh, you will have the vehicle shipped to you. The title will already be in your mailbox by the time the vehicle shows up by your shipper. Once the Sequoia shows up, you will uh, take the title you got in the mailbox already and the Sequoia that just showed up and go get plates in your state. Very simple. If you need help with shipping, ask for Joey at the beginning of this transaction. Um, he can either give you advice or do it for you. He can roll it into the price of the vehicle, all kinds of options. Or you can do it yourself uh, if you know how. Some people do, some people don't know what a, what, what a good price or bad price is. We can help with any any of that range from zero to all of it, okay? Um, deposit is $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Once we have that deposit, it will no longer be for sale. Until then, it's for sale, all right? We don't hold them. Uh, without, a, without a deposit, we will not hold it. Last part of every video, and I've done this for oh, almost 15 years now, thousands of videos uh, you could verify this by watching any of them that are on our page right now 40 or 50 go to the last three minutes of the video and I say this we don't have salesmen we don't have bottled water with our name on it we don't have a lounge to hang out in and watch TV or play games we don't have an attendant making you sandwiches we don't have a fancy zip code you just saw where we came from we have razor wire night vision cameras and cops all over the place all right um, that's what we have they have fountains and the mall and all kinds of pretty stuff over there all that stuff you're paying for the other thing you're paying for over there that you're not paying for with us are repairs what do I mean when you buy a vehicle at the auto mall and it breaks you bring it back there because you want it fixed whether it's a window motor or an injector or uh, an AC knob or the radio whatever you want it fixed they charge you for that when you buy the vehicle on top of the salesman and the bottled water and the zip code and all the other crap, you're paying for future repairs. On this vehicle, they probably add about six or seven dollars to the price, okay? We don't add that to the price because we're not fixing your car. You're the owner on day one. We give you this video, we tell you what's right, what's wrong, what works, what doesn't work, um, car facts, the whole bit, title, so that you can know what's going on and be an informed buyer. 
Um, if you know that, that this thing shows up and there's a problem, you know, small or large, and you're gonna be pissed off, don't buy anything from us. We don't have a single thing for you. All we got is the truth um, and a lot of information that they're too afraid to give you, all right? They would rather just charge you too much money and deal with the problem later. We will tell you about the problem before and you can be the owner of your car and be the adult, okay? Uh, that's how we treat the whole thing. If that doesn't work for you, there's no problem with that whatsoever. We will not be angry. Uh, we just don't have anything for you. Um, and thank God it's not raining right now. We thought that storm was going to get us a minute ago. So I'm going to park this car here so my brother can do the photos. And uh, yeah, we're pretty full right now. So uh, again, I tell people when we're like this and it's hard to move vehicles around, he wants to sell them fast. So this is going to be a really nice price, I think, for this vehicle. Um, which is, it, it runs and drives great. Love it. And I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.